Also, Mark here. Um, we're going to do a review of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is not the uh, 25th Super Bundle, you know, Super Deluxe, get all your craps, you know, uh, package by any means. As you can see, it's the, you know, just the game. Just, you know, went out and bought, you know, got it for Christmas. And, of course, notice here at the top, don't know if you can see that, but it does say that it has a uh, Zelda music CD with it. Um, also, if you notice, it does require Wii Motion Plus. You cannot play this game without it. It is impossible. So if you do not have a Wii Mote or a uh, Wii Remote Plus or the Wii Motion Plus add-on, you cannot play this game. So. Uh, yeah, that's just a little heads up. I actually didn't know that and ended up having to go buy a uh, Wii Motion Plus. Uh, for those people who don't know what Wii Motion Plus is, I have mine here. Uh, the uh, Wii Remote is right here. This is the Wii Motion Plus. Most people should know that, but I am sure somewhere out there somebody doesn't. So, just letting you know. Um, I got mine for about 17 or 18 bucks used, so, uh, of course that did not come with the jacket, so, yeah. Anyway, back to the review of this, and not Wii Motion Plus. Uh, if you look on the back, it's, you know, it kind of gives you some information, you know, uh, it says, The Birth of a Legend. So that lets you know, first and foremost, that this is a prequel to all the other Zelda games. And uh, it has been stated by Nintendo in their uh, Japanese release of uh, Hyrule Historia that it is, in fact, the first in the series. So in the official timeline, it is the first. Uh, I hate to tell you that for those of you who uh, you know, are complaining right now about spoilers, uh, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, look at the side here. It says, you know, Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword. It's written in a gold, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this game is, is really one of the my most favorite games that uh, I've actually played. To be honest, I really wasn't even sure if it was going to be that good when I, you know, first got it. Uh, the initial things I had seen, which I hadn't seen much, uh, were talking about it kind of looking a little bit like Wind Waker, and I'm not a big fan of Wind Waker, uh, I just didn't really care for it, I know a lot of people did, but for me it just wasn't there, um, however, uh, Skyward Sword is, is definitely a lot better than I anticipated, the Wii Motion controls are, uh, said to be better than Twilight Princess on the Wii, I've never played the Twilight Princess on Wii, but I have played, uh, you know, I have played it on GameCube. I thoroughly enjoyed it on GameCube, so I, I have no comment on whether the controls are better or not, because I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool game, you know, if we open it up. There's several things you'll notice. First of all, you know, you've got your nice little booklet there, and you'll and you'll notice a C, the music CD. The Legend of Zelda, you know, uh, 25th Anniversary Symphonic. Uh, you know, special orchestra CD. It's very nice. Uh, comes with uh, a musical insert here, if I can get to it. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, it, if you open up the insert, it, expo it has uh, interviews with, or, well, not really interviews, but, uh, you know, words of wisdom, I guess you could say, from three of the uh, head people that worked on this game. Uh, of course, uh, Miyamoto, of course. So, um, it's, it's pretty cool. On the back, you have uh, a track list of eight songs that's printed in three languages. Uh... And, uh, yeah, so that's the insert for the music. Of course, then you have your inserts that are the ads and all of that stuff that tell you, 
go buy this, go buy that. Not exactly my favorite part of the inserts, but, you know, I keep them just for, you know, having it. Uh, anyway, of course, you also have the game. The game, I think, actually looks really good on the design of the cover and everything. It, it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, and there's not really much to be said about that, but uh, it's that's pretty cool. Okay, and then you have really the gameplay of, of Skyward Sword and the story. Uh, this game really, really did a lot for me. Originally, I did not think it was going to be that good, as I said before. During the tutorial stuff as well, I really wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Uh, ended up really, really enjoying it. Uh, also, too, I never thought a game uh, in the Zelda series could ever compete with Ocarina of Time. And I have to say, this one does. It, it, it's actually really, really fun, really, really good. Uh, I would definitely recommend this to anyone to play, even if you're not a Zelda fan. Uh, the game has a lot of uh, fun gameplay, and uh, I, I really, really recommend this. Uh, also, too, if you look on Wikipedia.com, <coughs> excuse me there, uh, Wikipedia.com, they have um, they have a uh, thing, a, a wiki page for um, Skyward Sword that shows you all of the uh, awards that it's won, and it's actually won quite a few awards from many different sites and uh, game review magazines and things. So it's pretty. There's a lot of information out there about the game. Uh, I would suggest. If you don't take my word for it, Google it, because Google is your friend, and uh, YouTube it. So, uh, thank you for watching this review. See you later.